Real life street stars. We in here with the legendary Riley. So we then. What's going down, man? What it do? It's, it's, it's the 2020, man. New things jumping, baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Before we get started, man, everybody uh, give a little, you know, int- introduction. Let them know who he is. Well, I'm Jizz No Rally, man. One of the original Rally Boys, one of the founders of the Rally, Rally Click, Rally Music, Rally Entertainment. That's me, man. Uh, Rally. Yes, sir. Yeah, respect, respect. Man, I'm, uh, you know, y'all know me as Big Ben. Yeah. Now y'all know me, Sweet Benny Ray. You know, shit started out with the rally shit, you know. And I've been, you know, going ever since. Shit, we back together, it's back going down, and shit, we finna fuck them up. Shit, straight up. Rally D, boss <coughs> extravagant. Yeah. 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 What it do? Uh, yeah. Really, man. Cooling, cooling, man. Yeah. Oh, just know, man. I, I, I heard, I mean, like, even growing up, man, I, I heard your name a lot. Jeez, no, jeez, no, rap, jeez, no, jeez, no. Man, um, y'all uh, used to have a city, like, when me growing up and shit, it's like right. y'all y'all used to have a city jumping. Right. And I heard through the club game, right. y'all bring a lot of artists. Go on, uh, right. you know, give them a look. I'll tell you about that, man. See, when we first, when our projects first started jumping out back in the game, we were, we were, it was a club called the Spy Club. Yeah. So the Spark Club was a new club. Hit club. Our partner Key Black. He was, he was the man at the time. But he wanted to bring. We wanted to bring a new. Well, we could see good entertainment in the city every week, man. So what we did, me, the Click, Rally D, uh, our partner Trey, Six Feezy, O, all of us, we rallied up, put, got together, and we started bringing every week. You, we, we, it'd be UGK, then it'd be our outcasts. Then it'd be a bleed, then it, you know, different artists, you know, we just run them back to back. So the club went from uh, a little nothing week one to by week four or five, the line was down the street around the corner. Yeah. It, it was history after that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Not to be nosy, how much did, was it to book UGK back in the day? UGK, man, I mean, we was, we was, we was good. It, it's, it's one thing about it. When you always good friends with people, me and, me and Chad Butler, we were good friends. We used to ride them down 45, shoot the Prairie View together. I'm a PV guy. So back in the day, we, we would hang together. So a show that might cost somebody $20,000, we was plugged in. Hey, man, let me give you and Bond 10, man. Y'all come on down and run it, man. So, you know, it go. It, it worked out in our favor. Was Prairie View has broken a lot of artists, even present day. Yeah. Was it like that back then, too? Like, Well, I mean, if you look back, you had uh, the girl from In Vogue. She came out of PV. Uh, 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 I, I believe Premier from uh, Gang Stars. He's from Waller County. We we rally. We are uh, Prairie View alumni, and then yeah. now you got Megan the Stallion. She's Twisted Black. Twisted, Twisted Black, Black was a Prairie View guy. So it's a lot of guys that that, that uh, it's a lot of entertainment come right out that small town outside of Houston, man. It's just the road. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, the road. Yeah, tell them around the uh, well, this is around the '90s. Right, 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 right. Yeah. I, uh, I know y'all even did some things was too short too. Right, too right, short. right, right, right. Yeah. yeah, at the time y'all might remember Quinn Black. Quinn yeah. Black was he was he was doing production, and uh, him and DJ Snake they were working with Short Down in Atlanta. So, like you said, we plugged in. We we did a lot of work together. Short come down to the city, he will hook up with us. We go to Atlanta. I mean, we stay at the house with him. He show us love and and and. and you know, it, it was just good, good networking. One of my favorite songs y'all did, y'all did with the uh, Cash Money Millionaires when they yeah. was yeah. Cash oh, Money. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yes, sir. Yeah. How did y'all build all of these relationships with all of these top name artists? You well, it, it, it basically was at a, at a point to where people started hearing what we was doing and, and respected what we were doing. So we started making phone calls, networking with people we knew. It wasn't a problem getting. You know, talking to people. Actually, like uh, they they come to the city do shows with us. You know, like a lot of the recording the songs we did, like the songs we did with Cash Money, we did it there in their hometown. We went down there, uh, Birdman. We went to the studio. Man, Fresh made the track. Uh, Wayne and everybody else came through. So it it it, it worked both ways. They showed us love in their city. We showed them love when they come to Dallas. So you know, it go it go a long way with you. Now. There's some younger guys, right? 
that feel like Dallas is just now starting to shine or they're just now getting on, which is obviously very false, right? right, you, right you've been doing right. Can you, for those who are young, right, that watch yeah. our channel, break down what the Dallas scene was like back then because y'all were doing some major shit back then. Right, right. Back then, you know, uh, we had – we had a different uh when it comes to the radio station program director 979 wasn't was just now coming into play because it used to just be k104 right. it was a lot of different factors that played in, in into the music and then now you got the the social media the online uh presence where at that time mm -hmm. it was still you still coming out your trunk, you still riding around with your vans wrapped up, you still, you had to do more footwork. Yeah. You know? And now that's that social media, it'll, it'll do a lot of footwork for you because people can see you that can't get to you. So you, you had, you had, you had, you, you had to really have something back then, you know what I'm saying? Like, because, you know, people had to judge you off face value. They couldn't go look at you on the computer, you know, and to shoot a video back then was so high, it wasn't too many niggas that was even shooting videos, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, for real. <laughs> no, facts. Yeah, for real. Man, back then, um, you know, as being an artist, it, you, like you said, it wasn't, it was uh, more at face value. Do y'all, just personal preference, do y'all prefer back then when you, as an artist, you had your privacy compared to, Nowadays, like they want to see you, they you got to be in front of the camera and stuff like that. But back then, you kind of do your thing, kind of do shit on the side or whatever you need to do yeah. to not be so out there. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, I, 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 you you talk to a lot of artists who were in the game at the time. Some still around, some not. But a lot of them, they kind of, uh, I'm I'm not gonna change this. I'm not gonna change that. I'm gonna do it my way. But with time, you know, things change. And I, I actually, to be honest, I like the the. the presence and how things are now and the changes that have been made in the industry you know a lot of people used to look for record deals be like man I gotta get signed I don't have the money I don't have this I don't have that now you know I mean you know you can you know some of the you, you come from nowhere with a hot song and you own man your, your presence can build you know now yeah. um were y'all operating independent or were y'all had did y'all have major label behind you we will Independent black owned, yeah. bro. Yeah. 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 So, tell, yeah. tell, tell, tell. We, we came from that Master P era, bro. You know what yeah. I'm saying? He, he really put the blueprint out there. You know what I'm saying? So once we seen that that P had opened up the lane, you know, we tried to do it. So was it? How would you say it was? Because y'all were able to do a lot of stuff, get features from you know big name artists. Like that was all you funding now, that? Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, we wasn't yeah. doing it. Right? Don't help. <laughs> well, let me remind you. Yeah, that. Let me remind you one thing. Um, remember, we were doing the shows, so we were thinking smart. You know what I'm saying? We was taking money. We was investing in the shows. I mean, hey, we had. I put it like this: we had some great nights. I mean, when you can bring some UGK, some Alkaz, uh. A Ball, MJG, uh, Young Bleed, uh, and the list goes on. Back then, it was Lil Kiki's and Big Pokers. We were just running it every weekend. So, like I said, it got to a point to where some people, a lot of people, didn't even get in no more. We, you know, it, it wasn't nothing to see the fire marshal sitting out there in the parking lot. You know, so, yeah. Did y'all during this time, right? Um, y'all yeah. are doing y'all thing. Did y'all have any? Like you said, y'all had some connections with Houston. Did right. had, was there any other anybody else in Dallas that was doing their thing too? Oh yeah, oh, man. Yeah, yeah it, 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 it yeah. was. I mean, yeah, like you Stampede, you uh, look at uh, uh Bowley, yeah, Gator Man, yeah, you had Tuck and uh, DSR and uh, yeah. Tom. You know, it was a lot of it was a lot of Pookie Lucci. It was it was dudes doing their thing. Yeah, sure. You know, and it, and and it, it was a challenge, but it was a, it was a loving challenge too. You know, because everybody they still you know mess with each other, and yeah. you know we see each other here and there. We was all out to the same thing, man, trying to get that bag, trying to get I, on. I think like like the thing about the rally is we was just like trendsetters, like. I don't think people knew that you could really get people on your shit like yeah. that. And then when people find that, damn, all it takes is a little money to do that shit. Yeah, then people started. It, it, it gave you know people, what I'm saying? Yeah, people got Boy. ambitious. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They started yeah. saying, well, man, if, if they did it, I could do it. You yeah, know what I'm saying? For sure. Because th 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 that's how it was. You know, they think you thought you had to be on a major right, label to right, get those right. type of yeah, names people, and acts and people didn't know that on your projects. That. You so, know? I got to ask you, uh, you know, if y'all can go down memory lane, uh, what was one of, either one of your most successful nights with one of the artist bookings, or probably a night that you took a loss on some other shit? I'll be honest, I'll be honest, big dog. 
We want taking too many losses, you know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, hey. Oh, that, was some, that was some good ass money. Hey, so I, I can tell like you, I can tell you. I mean, I mean, our like first week, our first week, I never forget. Where I brought Young Bleed, and the club wasn't completely full. That was just our first week, but it, everything went smooth. But we made almost ten grand, and I was t that was without the bar valet this that, and other thing. So I'm like, man, if we fill this motherfucker up. Uh, we finna we finna we finna cash some checks, and after that, man, week after week for a good maybe a good two year run, we was we was cash some checks. So yeah. Now I want to ask. Um, we had Lil Twist who came on here, yeah. um, and I remember you know him doing shows with Grifter and just you know, right. Rock Test, doing stuff like that. And he mentioned that he had a song, and I guess Skip Cheatham took him out of rotation. He felt some type of way about that. He felt like, um, who would he, did he say was uh, Skip before him that was showing love? Yeah. For you, you being an artist, when the Dallas radio station embraced you, did you see a shift when Skip Cheatham took over? Or was it like, how was it the radios embracing y'all as artists that were doing their thing independent? Well, man, uh, it, it basically, be honest, you know, the radio station, it's, 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 a different, it's a different game when you're independent and when you're on a major label. You hear those songs once every hour. It's 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 a reason for that. You know what I'm saying? The, the demand that the city can put on, the people can put on through the club and to the streets. That's what helps an independent artist. It forces them to, you know, deal with an independent artist, play their music, and put them on. So you when know they, so because I was hearing y'all stuff on the radio. So yeah. what was that about? Was that y'all having to cash out or did they embrace y'all? It, it was a, it was a little boat. You know, hey, we was a little bold. We, you know, we, we was the people's choice. We, yeah, the people, the people, even the DJs there at K104, some of them was uh, a little pissed about because they was like, man, we need to be playing these dudes on over, over, and over, over again. People, they calling us, want to hear it. Skip, let them hear it. Shit, you know. But well, we had our rounds with Skip. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so, yeah. so who would you say was the person in Dallas radio that really put on back then? I got, I got, I mean, I, 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 one, DJ I'll be honest, Rapper. Greg, with us, Greg Street, Greg Street showed us love, you know, Greg, even though, even when Greg left, went to Atlanta, he mean like, hey man, y'all get up out of the city, come on here, any plug I got, anything at the club, the shows, and he, he, he worked, he still showed love. To this day, we can still go pull up on Thursday night. What I, I think he had Blue Flame in Atlanta. We can still go pull up and, and, and get love. You know, Greg Street just a real nigga. You know, you got to be first and foremost a real nigga to even embrace some more real niggas. You know what I'm saying? What made him leave? I don't remember that story. Because they Greg, didn't embrace Greg, a real nigga. Greg, they weren't embracing him. Greg a businessman, so. They weren't embracing him. Either, either you going. He either, told Yeah. He bought his he money. Said, he bought he his said, He said so, he, he was like, you know. I ain't mean, but let, let me say this. I know when Greg Street came back that second time, man, I'm talking about the nightlife was jumping from Sunday to Sunday. It was something to do every seven days a week, every night when he came back that second time. And, you know, he, he, he was just like, you know, niggas was getting mad. You know, Greg Street was the type of, he, he the type of dude, if he fuck with your shit, if he like your shit, he gonna play your shit. Like, it, it, wasn't, it ain't about no money. You know, uh, of course, you know, this shit a business, but if he really fuck with your shit, he gonna play it. And niggas was getting mad because he didn't like that shit. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know, they, you know he wasn't showing love. I mean, you know, if, if he don't like it, he don't like it. So the thing is, if he like your shit, he was gonna play it straight up. So let me ask you this. Um, groups in general, right? It's always low key tension in groups. Um, for y'all, how did y'all manage to stick together? And did y'all have a period where y'all had to just disband? You know what I mean? Yeah, you, you, <clears throat> with most groups, I mean, you look at the group thing, that, that happened with most groups, you know. Yeah. I mean, it's a difference in, um, you got a lot of different personalities to deal with. Right. Everybody got different goals, morals, and mindsets. So, yeah. you know, uh, yeah. it, it, it happens time to time. Man, that, that's, just, that's, just, that's just life, you know, yeah. you, 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 you take in, you taking individuals that like like as far as me I know and as far as you know Jiz and one of the other members like like you taking people that that didn't grow up together that didn't you know what I'm saying and then like you in this situation and then you around people every day so it's gonna it ain't gonna always be peaches and cream you feel what I'm saying because you you like you trying to get to know this person and fucking with them and doing music is like you know 
How did yeah. y'all even link up in the first place? Because y'all ain't from the same city. You from Fort Worth, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, like some people uh, Dallas. It, like how did y'all even link up? Well, me and Rally D, we found We've been together since we was knee high, you know, since we yeah. was a kid. But, but then we met uh, Fees and Six, you know, now. It was like I say, a PV thing. We, it started out down there. We brought it back home with us. And we started the rally. We put it together. And um, from there, man, we just, as we was recording, 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 we was working on the project, and right before we we was getting closer, we had done a lot of the project. Uh, this guy from Forward showed up, his name was Sweet. So you know, they said, "Man, we got this dude, Sweet. He oh, he, he hard." I'm like, "Well, shit, let me hear him." So rather, you know, they brought him in, and uh, shoot, man, he he was he was what they said. You know, he got live, and and then uh, he been down with us since, man. Shoot, you know. Yeah. And yeah, that's what yeah. that is, yeah. Yeah, man, it was, it was just a blessing. Like I said, me coming from Fort Worth, and then I I met them through a mutual partner of theirs. You know what I'm saying? That was that 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 I had met. You know what I'm saying? And so, shit, it it was just like you know, it was really a blessing. You know, to come in a situation and, and get around, like you know, because these because I always I always tell people, you know, no matter what we done went through it, no matter what, like. I learned a lot from these dudes just cause I I, I, I was the youngest in the clique, so I mean I I I really like learned a whole lot from like watching these dudes and some shit that I still apply in my life to this day. You know what I'm saying? Just by seeing how these niggas lived and how these niggas moved. You know what I'm saying? Facts. So yeah, yeah, facts. So it was, it was, it was just really a blessing, cause I could have came out here and linked up with some whole ass niggas. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like for real, for real, straight up, straight up, <laughs> straight up. So the shit really was a blessing that I came out here and linked up with some real niggas. Yeah. And I, and I, and I ain't gonna lie, like, like, like being a young nigga rapping and shit. You know, them, them, them niggas spoiled me. I ain't had to do nothing but come to the studio and, and rap and smoke good every day. But then. When, 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 when I had to do this shit on my own and pay for this shit on my own, that's when I really got a respect for this shit. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> oh, back then, it was like, you know, and, and I remember Jizz, Jizz, Jizz used to say it all the time, say, man, you can't be fucking off a nigga money, man. You ain't go, go to there, you know what I'm saying? The whoop the whoop. I'm like, man, you know, I'm trying to, you know, I'm, I'm young and having fun, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. But shit, but when I had to start, goddamn me, paying for that shit and getting them and paying them, Invoices myself, shit. That that shit was a whole nother thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like let, for real. Let, I want to ask you, Jiz, because it sounds like you you kind of funded a lot of some of this shit, right? When you look at the Meg the Stallion situation, right? Her contract. You said, oh, you said what now? Meg the Stallion yeah, and right, her contract, right? Right, 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 right. Um, a lot of people were taken back because they said that's a standard contract. Yeah. Um, for you being in the music business, you know, what I'm saying, and you, I'm sure, signing artists and things like that. Explain like, is that really what goes down? You really like, like forty percent of your publishing gone. For, you know, like, is that really how it works now? Or is hey, hey, it's 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 people gotta understand. I heard it's two sides to each and every story. Right. I mean, I've heard some guys they don't get the deal she had. They don't get that. Yeah. You know, and when people are, you 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 have artists that start out. They humble, they humble as hell starting out because they want to get on, they want to be, they want to, they want to get there. As you building them up, as a company, you building them up, you get, you getting them further, further along. Now they hear they self on the radio, they hearing this, they got these shows, they got this, that, that. Now, oh shit, I'm, I'm hot, but shit, you been rapping ten years and you ain't been not. You shit, you want, you want, you want nothing. But people put you on, give you the guy, give you, the, give you the guidelines, start taking, taking you down that road. And then they start feeling like they um they'll start, and then that's when the problems come in. So you know, contracts, paperwork, man, it, it, it's it's crucial because they keep the they keep the loyalty and the respect in 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 the factors. You know what I'm saying? I know some guys that's from the city that had one of the hottest artists that's out right now, but they didn't have their paperwork right. They didn't have their contract right. So when they get to ATL, it's a whole nother story. You know what I'm saying? So. You know. She um, in, even in her situation, I believe she said uh, her original contract. She got a ten thousand dollar advance. Mind you, this was like no more than about three, four, five years ago. Right. Um, you as a person who procures talent, do you feel like uh, ten thousand in let's say in this climate is enough, <laughs> or you feel like that's kind of over? Because this is somebody coming from nothing. There, so there, there, there you go. That's a key thing. Okay. Now you 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 got a person who is. Basically, just 
She's she she's rapping in the lunchroom. She's yeah, 10, rapping. Ten thousand might have been a million to her. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> when when you're not getting, like you said, when you're not getting nothing, you got to start somewhere. You got to start somewhere. So if you not, uh, you got to be humble and and take your time to build. And there's one thing I can say. It, it go back to, uh, look at cash money. We go back to cash. Well, look how you had it was you had you, you had uh, the whole clique. People start dispersing one at a time. I can make it on my own. I can make it. Wayne stayed down. He made man, but his the longevity of his career, finances, everything. It was it was a different story. You see what I'm saying? But Benny said it best earlier, man. When yeah. he started getting them invoices, the whole attitude changed. Oh, yeah. You know okay. what I'm saying? Right. She ain't been getting no invoices, so why attitude doesn't change? Nah. <laughs> Rock Nation getting them invoices. Yeah. yeah. Nah, yeah. big facts. Um, the rally, the rally business. You know what I'm saying? As far as you know, of course, rapper, rally boys, and then of course, with being a promotional team. What other lanes did y'all have y'all name on? As far as other businesses, outside uh, of just you know even artists, promotions. Oh man, what well, you said? What other businesses? Yeah, what other? Businesses? Yeah, well, me, I, I personally, I personally, I deal with cars. You know, I have an automotive. It's JoJo's Auto Body, you know well. We, 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 yeah, y'all yeah. get your your car at JoJo's Auto Body. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so yeah, we we paint them, we fix them up, we do everything. You know what I'm saying? We've been doing that. That was just something I got into on my downtime. You know, music when it's seasonal, you get a little break here, break there. I always like fixing up cars, paint cars. So that's what I invested in on the side. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for me, you know, I'm into real estate, you know. Okay, yeah. Music just always been a hobby for me, an investment. You know? That's what's up. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, with this the corona situation happening right now, you know, and people having to figure out a new way, probably to hustle, you know what I mean? Um, how bad do you think this is gonna hit the artist? This it's, it's it's hitting the entertainment as a whole, you know. I'm just I mean from the um I it, right now it's up in there. It's just cause Nobody really knows. This is something we've never dealt with, never had to uh, look into. So, you know, when the government is telling you anything, then shit, you know, you, you see who our president is, and uh, right. he, he good in line, so Clown shit. Show. Show. Yeah. If you were to take a guess, right, if right. this is a natural disease versus a man-made disease, what would you say? I, I, I would go man-made. I mean, because um, you look at where it's at, you look at how it's spreading, most of the countries that that where it's at, they allies of the U.S. and you know it's a lot of places where they they okay, you know they doing fine, and yeah. But, but don't trust these people, y'all. Don't trust. Them. <laughs> if, if you were to take a shot, if you were to take a guess to say if it was man-made, if it was USA or China that made it, who would you say? I I I, I would say it was a uh, China China made. Yeah yeah yeah. I, 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 I would say it was. I said I said it was the I said it was the Australians trying to fuck everybody. Australians. Up. Yeah, I'm man. I'm trying to fuck everybody. I mean, I, they, I remember that little boy, uh, Trump dropped <laughs> not too long. Man, has it on? Um, that dude was major now. Yeah, for not for they real. Don't clap back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> has it affected y'all uh, any as far as y'all business going forward? You know, they grounded off flights. You know, events with larger than however many people kind of stopped. Damn, that, this point. Um, yeah. Has it stopped any of y'all businesses going forward as far as anything from March, April, May going into? Yeah, it, 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 they saying uh, as we were doing this interview, they were saying they finna have a nationwide, uh, a statewide shutdown, yeah. quarantine. You know, in, in, in my. In my years of living, this is a first for me. This is something right, I've right, never right. ever seen in my <laughs> life. A nigga like so, to get out the house, you know. Man. So yeah, you know. So shit, it's gonna it's, it's gonna be a trying time, and it's gonna really be well. Shit, well, shit you got to see what you what you made of. Yeah, yeah. another 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 business endeavor. They, 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 you know, my buddies fair to mention. You know, we we also got a uh, recording studio that we own together. And uh, you know, niggas ain't want to come book time. They don't know how shit you know gonna be. So it's like, hell yeah, that shit affected some shit, you know, cause we, cause, you know, cause the studio open seven days a week, 24 hours a day. So it's like, shit, niggas can't book no time. Shit, it's like, you know, the money stopped. You but know see, what I'm saying? I would think it'd be the opposite. I would feel like this would be the time to drop music. Cause yeah. everybody ain't got shit else to do but well, to listen. And we, we were just talking, we were saying this is a good time where all the producers can send tracks out. Everybody can, if you're at home, you can write, write your ass out when this blow over. We can twenty four seven record. We can we yeah. knock some projects out like you know yeah. real fast. You know, yeah. Because I, 
think it's been kind of crazy because it's like nothing matters no more. Money don't matter. Nothing matters. Right. So it's like you almost hit the house kind of reflecting on life. Like, yeah, damn. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's yeah. deeper than, you know what I mean? It's bigger yeah, than it's that. Crazy. It's bigger it's, than it's, that. It's some shit we, ain't, we definitely ain't never seen. Never. Like, shit, yeah. you know? Yeah. So, shit, shit crazy. Um, rally boys for 2020. You know, hopefully everything get back to normal. What are the plans right. um, for for the rally boys? Man, know? we 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 had a big year plan uh, for 2020. And we still, we, like you said, we're gonna remain optimistic. Well, we had the new rally project. We got a uh, little wheel, Carpa Dim project out coming Rube out. Wheel. That's that's our little bro, uh, Rude Boy and T. We together with Double R. It's rally and Rude. And on the management side, we got a lot going. Big Ben got projects coming out of Funkatown, Young Wood, and a couple more guys. So we we got a lot of we got a lot of stuff cracking, man. We, only thing that's slowing down with us, we had a lot of visuals, videos, and uh, stuff we was ready to shoot for the high season. It's just going to kind of post that because because of the people getting out, the film and crews and stuff. But we we we, gonna, we everything going to be good. Sound like y'all uh, cranking it back up, man. Oh, ah, yeah, yeah. We've yeah, been at yeah, work. Yeah, we just rally. Yeah, 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 <laughs> man. You know, we like we, to go in the outhouse, man. Get back yeah. in there and work, man. Yeah. And, and, uh, then, you know, yeah. we, we just trying to, we just trying to, you know, I like the fact that, uh, you know, we, we got all these talented uh, uh, young guys around us, man. Like, like uh, uh, Bless Center, Lil oh, Sick, yeah, Lil yeah, Sick. Yeah, right, right, right. yeah, nigga Lil Sick. That nigga Lil Sick played 38 instruments, you know what I'm saying? Right, like, right. He like, in the like, building, shout out Sick. Yeah, shout out, man, my right. nigga. That's, that's, that's my little brother. And, and like I said, man, there's all these young, talented dudes around, man. That shit just have a nigga turn up. I, I be so drained when I get to the house from leaving the studio, I be like, damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit. Yeah. Do y'all feel like y'all are underrated as far as getting mentioned? Because it's like, I don't really necessarily hear, you know, when people talk about the history of Dallas, like, right. we don't necessarily hear the rally boys come up, but y'all did so much, you know what I mean? So, do you feel mm. underrated in that in that aspect? Man, hell yeah. <laughs> hell, hell yeah. And, and, and you know why? I think, I think, I think, I think one of the reasons why, like, like, you know, because we 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 was like them niggas where we where we played above the rim, you know what I'm saying? So it was like we was like stars, you know what I'm saying? So niggas felt like you know if a nigga got close to us, it it, it, it like it mean it it meant something to a nigga. So I think in a sense, a lot of people was like, damn, I'm glad them niggas are out out the way, you know what I'm saying? As opposed to man, them niggas really, really, you know what I'm saying, put it down. You know, and the real niggas know, you know, and, and everybody just you know, all the real people know that we really put it down and did our thing. But like I said, we we just, you know, it, it, it also be a thing of out of sight, out of mind, you know what I'm saying? When when you when you when you go on the inactive list for a few years yeah. and people ain't seeing you and hearing you, then they tend to forget about you. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, thanks to, you know, platforms like this that can, you know, open people's eyes back up and like, yeah, we still here, we still doing our thing better than ever, shit, and it's still going down, you know what I'm saying? 20 years later. But but we kind of spoke on that earlier far as with the politics of radio here right. in Dallas and things of that nature, but right. people, you know, abroad, like in Houston, Atlanta, right. You know, different other cities, we still get love. Folks yeah. still, you know what yeah. I'm saying, got love for the yeah. rally. You know what I'm saying? So that's one of the reasons why we trying to bring this thing back, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. The rally up, baby. Yeah, yeah, you know. Then social media, man, it's a thing now. If you ain't big on social media, you know, people feel like you ain't shit if you ain't got no social media following. And, and like I said, we, we just not getting back out here though, as far as the rally shit, so we still got to, build our social media buzz up, you know what I'm saying? Cause like, you know, cause when we was out, you know, that shit didn't even exist, you know what I'm saying? But let, let me ask you this, cause like you even see like Master P or um, Puff Daddy, where they'll get all the novelty acts from the 90s and they'll come together. It, what's stopping the Dallas All-Stars, you know what I'm saying? From, from that time period, from just linking up and doing a concert and just hitting the road, like, is it an ego thing? Is it just people don't really reach out to each other? No, I mean, <clears throat> I don't see it that way, y'all, because I, I, me personally, I still, I talk to, I see, uh, I see if I see uh, Gator Man, Bolez, uh, all the other, other yeah, artists, yeah, Puka yeah. Lucci, or uh, Tom, then we, you know, Tuck, everything cool, you know, ain't no problem, so, you know, yeah. that's a great idea, you yeah, know what I'm yeah. saying, something to put together, and, uh, 
Yeah, that's a, that yeah, ain't that, no bad that's idea. All, that's all some new shit, like rappers. Hold on, you, uh, since you said it was a great idea. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, 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 Don't yeah, forget yeah. about your boys. Yeah, we sure, got your yeah, back. Sure. We just want VIP tickets in the yeah, room. Yeah, man. Man. I already, yeah. man. I already, I yeah, already. Man. That's what's up. Yeah, man, rapping, 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 like rappers beefing and not getting along, like that's how some new shit. Cause back in the day, shit, everybody was just trying to get some money and was nobody tripping on. Like, like I remember Rally always told me, man, players don't beef with other players. You know what I'm saying? So it's like it was always some player shit. Like anytime, anytime that we was around all these dudes, it, it was always player. It was never like no, no animosity or no shit like that amongst the rappers and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like. Right. Uh, speaking of not getting along and making sure, I mean, speaking of getting along, um, personally, what is some of y'all's favorite, besides y'all's own music, mm-hmm. favorite music or favorite song that came out the city? You came out the city? You came out the city. Man, I'm, uh, I'll am be straight up, man. I, I on, on a new tip. Uh, new or old? I'm just curious. New, new, new. I, How about I, yeah, I'm one from each. New or I, old? I like, li- I like Lil Baby. I like Lil Baby and them boys there. Wait, Lil Baby at the city? No, he said for the city. Oh, at the city. Oh, okay, okay, my bad. Okay, at the city. Oh, I thought you said at the city. Well, man, at the city, man, I got to give shout outs to, to, to Yellow. They from the Cliffs. The boy Freddie, they from the Cliffs. They from the, they from the hood. And uh, I've been I've been knowing them. I know their parents and everything, man. And they done came a long way, man. They done made some big moves for the city. It's a couple of other boys. Smurf Franklin. My little bro, Lil Will, they, he's still doing this thing. So. It's it's a blessed son of he's 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 growing so it, 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 we got some good talent that's moving and some that's coming so it's it's, it's some good things it's some good young artists in the city man we got plenty of talent in the D yeah, sweet, sweet, sweet. right uh, you say like one old, get, yeah just either a favorite artist a favorite song that's come out of come out of this city DFW you know what I'm saying. I done heard thousands of songs. I can't. I can't even. You just, have a. I can't just pinpoint one, man. Cause I can't. I can't though. That's hard. That's hard to just pinpoint one song. This this this, this came out the out the city. It's like then, uh, one one that you probably proud of. Then, if anything, one that okay. That I I say just me being from the funk. I mean, when I heard uh. Twisted Black, I'm a fool with it on, 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 on the radio in heavy rotation. You know that that shit. When I heard when I heard Six Two on Dr. Dre album, The Chronic. You know what I'm saying? Like them them was big moments for me. You know what I'm saying? Just for me being from Fort Worth, so I can't really just speak on a Dallas record. You know what I'm saying? Just just because I'm from the funk. So when I seen them them niggas shine like that, like like I say, uh, Six Two was on The Chronic. You know, Dr. Dr. Dre, really? so when I when I when I when I heard that, I'm like, nigga, we done made it, nigga. Like, you know <laughs> yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. for real. You know what I'm saying? And then like I said, when black when black came out with the um, you know, with yeah. with the fool with it, you know, them was big moments for me. You know what I'm saying? Not Personally. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? Uh, now now have- now on the new shit, uh a lot of these niggas be jamming. Like, like, you know what I'm saying? I, I can't even just say one that 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 you know it's a few of them bro that, that stick out like you know what i'm saying i don't i don't i just i just it's, it's so many of them like on, on the new tip right. but right. on the old tip that was you know yeah, shit that was, stuck that out was, to me moments in itself uh do you have any personally that you was man i'm gonna pay homage to all the d-town artists the old the new the up and coming you know what i'm saying i love my city man rally up now nah, there you go there you go and yeah. i do have to ask you um as far as doing, working with uh, Cash Money, going out to going out to the NO to fuck with them, yeah. um, firsthand the uh, the uh, the city as far as Master P, you know, No Limit doing their thing, yeah. Cash Money, you know, they coming up doing their thing. First of all, who who was the city rooting for at that time when y'all was out there, and I, who do y'all personally feel had the? It, it was kind of it was kind of uh, in between. If you remember, one was from. Uh, um, it, yeah, yeah, Magnolia, yeah, then, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, they was from, t- yeah. So, but they, they both was they. It was, it was an no thing, man. That was they was on and popping. I just shit at that time, man. You couldn't really take nothing from no. P jumped it off, and uh, Birdman just came back, dold him, and man, they kept running with it. You know what I'm saying? And they, they kept it going. So you know, both of them were wise businessmen, man. So you know, they, they, they did their thing. Being an independent label yourself, 
how hard is it to have that type of run? It, like, it, it is, man, because it go back to, again, you're dealing with so many personalities, so many, you know, you got two artists that's happy over here today. You got two artists over here that's sad, you know, they pouting and they crying. But it's all the time and it's probably, because everybody want to be big. Everybody want to get that get their shine on, get do I, their thing. I, I got a question. Do you think that uh, as men that we – it's too many emotions, you know, being like being being too emotional. Yeah, I th it, it, it's not so much. I I I think it's patience. You know what I'm saying? Having patience, and you know, just patience, man, go a long way sometimes. Cause a lot of us give up too soon, and we yeah. we, we we heading toward that goal we trying to achieve, but that patience won't last. And then you know, you get family, friends, people in your ear, make you it hard, man. That, 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 uh, assumptions. Me and make too many of some, some, you know, assumptions right, right, at right, times. and and that that could hurt you at the same time because even if you once you sign to a major label, you know, which we've dealt with that uh, uh, with Will and other and you know, other projects, you you'll see that that it, you still got to be patient because yeah. they got they got projects and other artists too, so you got to wait your turn to 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 come up come up to bat, and if that artist hot. They want to suck a single, so they're going to keep him, keep him going while he's hot, so that might push you back, push your project back. Yeah. But all you can do is be patient and wait your turn and time be ready. I think that's some good right. game for the artists out right. there. Just be patient. The jewel on you. Yeah. Be patient. Yeah, man. Uh, before we get out of here, any shout-outs I want to give? Man, I want. I, I got a couple I give. I want to give a shout-out to uh, uh, my little bro, Bless Center. My little Will, little Will Carper DM, my Rude Boy and T. I gotta say, Free Little Spain, um, yeah. and uh, Long Distance shout out to our boy Salim at um, Unauthorized 300 Music. He doing big things down there. Uh, so, yeah, man, that's, that's, that's what's up. Ready. Shout out to the whole city, man. Y'all be safe out there. You know, we, we going through a crisis right now, but Soon as this thing over with, we gonna rally up. Yeah. And we gonna, you know what I'm saying, put that CK on them, B. Yeah, man. Corona yeah. killer, man. Yeah, yeah, man. Corona killer. Yeah, man. Shit, uh, man, just shout out to the whole funk, man, to the whole D. Like I like, you know, I already I always tell people I'm from Fort Worth, but Dallas is my second home, man, like for real. I you think y'all the ones brought, brought the uh, metro, metro place together. Yeah, yeah, yeah for, sure, ready, for sure. Y'all all for the sure. ones that did that. Good thing. For sure, yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we did that. Founding you know, fathers. Yeah, yeah. If you, if yeah. you listen to our other album, Twisted Black now, yeah, down, yeah. On, down on our album, T-I-C, he yeah. from up Berry Hill, he on the yeah, album, so yeah, we, yeah, yeah, we made yeah, it a Metro yeah, Place thing. Yeah, man. man. Yeah. Like I say, man, Salute you know. Salute to y'all for that, man. Shout out to the whole DFW, man. I, I got, you know, if you, if you, you know, if you fuck with me, you know who, you know that I fuck with you. So, there's too many people to name. So, I'ma just say, man, shout out to everybody that fuck with me. Already, man. Rally boys, man. Yeah, we appreciate y'all. Well, rally up, rally up, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Appreciate y'all coming yeah, through, man. Yeah. The legendary. legendary. Rally up, man. Shout out to Real Street Stars, nigga. Moolah. Hey.